What's up guys, my name is Caesar Beavers and today I'm gonna to show you how to remove the background from an image in Procreate. And if you like this type of content, please subscribe and hit the bell to be notified whenever I release a video. Let's get started. Okay, first what you need to do is open up your Procreate app. Then I'm gonna hit photo. And I'm gonna pick the photograph that I'm gonna import in there and it's gonna start importing it in. And once it's in there, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna hit the layers and I'm gonna duplicate it. And I'm gonna turn the layer for the bottom one off. And I'm gonna hit the eraser icon. And the brush that I'm using for the eraser is the soft airbrush with the streamline turned all the way up so it's not jittery. And I'm just going to start erasing around the dog. And I kind of want to get closer to the hair. Some of the background might be in there if I don't get closer to the hair but we're gonna go in and add that back in afterwards there's a um, procreate brush here that will work very nicely it'll look like it never happened And once it's all the way erased, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna hit the select. This is the best way to ensure that there's no um, pieces of the background left on the PNG image. And then swipe down with three fingers and hit cut and paste and delete the layer that it created up under it. And I'm gonna duplicate that wolf that I just cut out. And the bottom one, I'm gonna turn the opacity down and I'll be able to see the hair from up under it. And I'm gonna hit the smudge tool up top. It's the second icon. And I'm gonna use the, um, the hairbrush that I was telling you about. And I'm just gonna start smudging that second dog image and creating hair. And it's gonna match up real nice. And I'm gonna go all the way around and do this. This is the best way that I found it to work for images um, that has hair on Procreate. Just cutting out the image um, when it has hair, it just doesn't look as good. It's kind of sharp. I'm gonna extend, extend it out a little bit because I don't want that hair to be cut off any when I add it on. I'm using this right here on a package design for a company called Treatables. I do a lot of work for them. Um, and like I said, this is gonna, gonna go on a package design. And 
And actually, if you use the code CAESAR, you'll get 10% off at treatables.com. Keep going all the way around the image, smudging with the hairbrush. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. If you guys have any questions, please ask below and I'll try my best to answer them. You might have to toggle in and out on the photo to see if it looks good to you. And we might not, we, we probably won't make it exact to how it was, but we're gonna get pretty close. Cause like I notice on the left side, there's this one huge piece that comes out. I'm definitely not gonna do it like that. already got it when I do get done I'll turn it to white I'll turn the background to white and uh, compare and see what it looks like yeah we might have to darken up the hair a little bit and blend it and what I can do is I can actually hold my finger on the screen and color match what the hair looks like and use the soft airbrush with a clip mask to um, match it up. I'm gonna take the airbrush and I'm gonna darken it up a little bit on that clip mask. it man if you guys have any questions like I said please ask drop them below in the comments all you got to do is hit save as a PNG file make sure you don't have a background or it'll save it with a background turn the background off that's it if you enjoy this video please subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when I release another video. I really appreciate everybody that hung around and uh, 
I hope you enjoy the content. Thanks for watching.